Okay, so let's look at software installation through the CLI. We do this through a command called apt-get. So basically it stands for um, get me an application. The way it works is, is it will go online to a online repository. It will search through that repository for the software that you require. If it can find it, it will then look for any other additional software that may be required to run the first lot of software. And they're called dependencies. So um, in this instance, we're going to be running VNC and or type VNC. So what it will do is it will search for the repository. It will look for any dependencies, for things like Java may be needed and different things. And it will grab those as well. It will then download them all onto your um, Raspberry Pi and will do the installation for you. Now there are lots of options you can use. And here's a very quick sample of some of the options you can get. So the main one you use will be um, apt-get install which will search through um, download and install the package for you you may want to um, update the packages for the latest version again upgrade um, you may want to you can there we go remove so you can remove and um, or basically unstore software and there's some options on here on um, different things that you can run as well so you can have a look and see if software is available without actually having to install it Okay, so let's have a look at apt-get in action. I'm going to run the command sudo apt-get um, install because we want to install the software and we're going to look for the software tight VNC server. Tight VNC server is a server-side application. It will uh, open up a listener or a socket depending on what you want to call it and from another machine, a Windows machine or another Linux machine you can run a remote desktop client called Type VNC, which will connect in and will give you a remote desktop session to the graphical user interface from, in the Raspberry Pi instance, Debian Squeeze. So we can see um, it's downloaded the software, it's installed the software from our online repositories, and we give it a moment and it will finalize the installation, and um, there we go, we're ready to start using type vnc. So we're now going to run the command type vnc server which is essentially going to start the um, vnc server. It's going to ask us for a password for when we access it and it's going to ask us also for a read-only password. We're going to say no because I'm not interested in a simple read-only access or full rewrite access to the system. So the next thing we need to do is we need to set up um, basically a socket for the VNC server to listen to. So what we're going to do is we're going to run the command VNC um, server. We can then set up a session or socket one, so colon one, and we're going to give it a um, geometry of 800 by 600, so that's the screen resolution. And we're going to give it a color depth, so dash depth of um, bit of 24 bit, which is a nice safe size. Once that's been done. Um, the VNC server will be listening in the background for um, a connection from our client side. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to look for the client um, application. So we're going to look for tight VNC. If we look at load the first one, go to the download section. So you should know whether or not you're a 36, uh, 32 or 64 bit Windows user. Once the software is downloaded, it shouldn't take too long. Right, done. We're going to run that installation and click next. Agreement. Go for a custom install and turn off the server. Otherwise, you're going to be turning your laptop into a VNC server, which we, we don't need. Click next, next install. So it'll take a few seconds. Right, once that's done, we can finish. And if we come here, type VNC viewer. Okay, so we've got our session running in the background, session one. So we're going to type in the IP address of our 
Raspberry Pi. We're going to give it colon one. So we're talking about session one. This will present as a 800 by 600 color depth, 24-bit um, um, remote desktop. Type in the password. And there you have it, a 800 by 600 Raspberry Pi desktop. So this is exactly the same as what you'd have got if you plugged it into your telly or your PC monitor. But obviously I've done this via my laptop. So I can do everything from my laptop without having to have an external um, monitor. And there you go. Obviously you may need to tweak with the resolutions to fit your laptop. Um, the best way to do that is to... Um, go back to your desktop and go to resolution and whatever's set there replace that in your command line parameters here um, to fit perfectly and there you go if you want to have multiple sessions for multiple users you can you can set different um, IDs and so you can have multiple people logging into your Raspberry Pi at one time although I think that might overload the system it is is technically possible. The last thing you can do is um, is you may want to kill the session off that you're done and you may want to do that via the command line. So what we're going to do is we're going to type the command tight bnc server minus, oh, minus kill session one that will kill that session and on the remote uh, desktop connection in the background we get this connection has been killed off okay that and there we've um, killed off that session